what's up everybody welcome back to the channel and we're continuing on the jeep cherokee today we do have the rear brakes we're going to do i've already done the driver's side rear and we're going to go ahead and go over and do the passenger side but first thing we got to do is put it in service mode i'm going to show you how to do that now all right so I'm using a scanner to do this, so it's maybe a little bit different than doing it manually. So what we're going to do is turn it to the accessory mode. I'm going to shut the door for you so that beeping will stop. Alright, now we're in, in the car and it's not beeping anymore. Like I said, we have it on accessory mode. We're going to go into the car through the scanner. It's establishing it. All right, now when it gets to this, go to hot functions. Go down to electric parking brake. I'm going to take it a second. Go to service procedures. And then this is just telling you what you need to do if you're wanting to do brakes on it. You need to put it in the open position. It'd be maintenance open. This wheel position. Actuators that brake pads can be serviced. You hit OK. And then go to maintenance open. I think mine's already in the open position. So yeah. So it says negative response because it's already in the open position. But once it uh, is out of it, it will pop up and say that it, everything went good. So I'm just going to turn the scanner off for a minute. And now we can go start on the brakes. Okay, so we're back here in the back. And first thing we need to do is we're going to take this uh, line bracket off right here. It is a 10 millimeter and we'll take that off first and i do believe it is a lock nut so let me grab my ratchets <laughs> that is off what you can do is move that out of the way and you can take this connector out if you want to to give you a little bit more clearance but that should be enough. Oops, sorry, did not mean to hit y'all. If you got a thin enough wrench to put over there, I believe it is an 18, but even with my thin ones, they won't fit in there. But this is fine. We can use a pair of vice grips on the shoulders of it and you should be good to go. Get this on here and then the bottom one is a 10 millimeter as well now that that is out we can pick up the caliper and just move it over here to the side there are your brake pads now the bolts are Torx bits. I cannot remember what size they were. I'm thinking they're like a T55. Yes, they are a T55 Torx bit. If I remember correctly, these are extremely tight. Ugh. Next step is to remove the rotor. The five millimeter Allen, just like the fronts. And just like the fronts, you're probably gonna have to hit them with the hammer to get them to come off. Just watch your feet. 
right, now I'm gonna get some scotch bright, clean this up, and then I'll clean up the new rotor and I'll show you the part number. Here are the rear pads right here, SC1734. These are brake best just like I got for the fronts. They come with hardware and that is ceramics. And then here are the part numbers for the rotors, BBR712064 RGS. We cleaned them off with some brake clean to get everything off. You can see everything is on. We put the stud back in. Now what we have to do is we we'll have to thread the piston back in on the back one. And I use this little tool right here. Works pretty good. Uh, you spin it one way, it expands it. Spin it the other way, and it tightens it down. Uh, I think if you go clockwise, it tightens it down. If you go counterclockwise, it brings it back out. And then they will come out and come back in if you keep going one way or the other. So if they are left turn pistons, you can still do it with this, or it doesn't matter if they're uh, standard threads to you to do it. But we're going to use this right here, and these do thread in clockwise, so you shouldn't have an issue with that. But I'm going to go ahead and thread them in, and I'll show you about how far they go in once I get it threaded in, because it's going to be kind of hard to show you this uh, on the car. But you can see about how far they stick out now. I'm going to thread them in, and then I'll bring y'all back and show y'all what it looks like. As you can see, I do have the brake pads back in the bracket itself. Uh, check the sliders. They move freely. They are greased pretty good already. There weren't much dirt in there or anything, so I didn't bother putting any new grease in it. But as you can see, I did put some brake lube on there. This is what I used. I'm going to get you out of the sun. I use the Permatex Silicone Ceramic Extreme. I like the orange and the purple. Those are my two favorite ones to use. But here's your, like I said, here's your caliper bolts. I'm going to clean off that old thread locker and put some new one, new stuff on there. And then we're going to thread them in and torque them to spec. And then I'll show you putting the caliper back on. I'm going to put a little bit of brake grease around the boot of this. I did it to the other side as well and I'm putting it on the piston just because that's a contact point and putting a little bit on these little ears right here not much and if you look right there it's about how much it sticks out so it went in probably you know, probably about three eighths of an inch So when we go to put this in, you're going to have to kind of put it down and under just to clear the electronic brake assembly. All right, we'll start the lower one first because that one is easier. Get this back out of the way. You can put Loctite on these if you want to. Uh, it doesn't recommend doing it, but some people do put Loctite on them. It's just kind of a personal preference if you want to or not. So I got the caliper on. Everything is tight and the tire is ready to go on. But before we do this, we're going to go back into the car and take it out of maintenance mode so that we can pump the brakes until they get hard just to make sure that the pistons come out. And whenever we get ready to test drive it, it just doesn't take off on us before the pistons actually can stop the car from rolling. But let's go inside and take it out of maintenance mode real quick. Okay, we're back inside of the car and I do have it on accessory mode. We're gonna go to service procedure. Press okay. We're going to maintenance close. And I could hear the actual calipers and the electronic portion of it pushing in. So now we're going to hit OK. And we should be able to pump the brakes. Right. 
Okay, we got the brakes pumped and they are hard. You can see they're not going down too far. All right, turn that off. And now we're gonna put the tire on it and torque it down. The torque spec on the lug studs are 96 foot pounds. But this is pretty much going to conclude the video. Uh, I'm gonna take it for a test drive and seat them in. I'm gonna get it up to about 10 miles an hour and go and hit the brakes and come to a complete stop. I'm gonna do that until I get to 30 miles an hour just so I can seat them in. Uh, I know you don't have to do that if you just do normal driving, but I do like to do that for customers just to make sure that everything is good on it and there's no issues. But I'm gonna go seat them in for them and make sure everything is good. But other than that, this is gonna be a conclusion to the video. If there's any torque specs or anything that you would like, please comment below and I'll get them to you as soon as I can. And if y'all enjoyed the video, please like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. And until next time, y'all have a great day.